Good morning, everyone. Guess what we're getting ready for? The well. So, and the goats are wanting their breakfast. I'll give you a quick tour and we'll go visit the goats for a minute. We want to have the well put right there next to the hay shed. And then we're just going to extend the hay shed and put a, um, a couple walls around it and a roof. So that is our goal. If They said they can put it just about anywhere we want. So that's where we're going to put it because it's a central location. But what we also did, we cleared all this area out. So we couldn't get a straight answer from them how big the rig is. And we needed to know that, kind of making sure they, once they get back this driveway, we don't have an option. They're towing trailers with the rig on it. We have to be able to turn them around. So what we ended up doing is, which we wanted to do anyway, and it just made us get it done. And I'm paying the price for that. Last night I was in a lot of pain. I mean, a lot of pain. I could barely move in bed to roll over. But we moved the buck pen. So the bucks have all this beautiful lush green stuff now. And um, we teamed up on it. We got the path cut for the wire. We kept them in several tree lengths of shade. So in the heat of the day, they still have really good shade. Uh, somebody loving on daddy. <laughs> You're going to stink. Oh my god. What are you doing? <laughs> he must be Yeah, we don't have their hay feeder from the horse trailer moved to the shed. So, we're feeding them in buckets. They're not big hay eaters. We've reduced their grain and their peanut hay by a small fraction because they now oh, just be careful. They're getting real bucky by you. Now that they have all this forage, we can reduce the feed that we're putting into them, which saves us money down the road. <laughs> Pilot, what are you doing? These guys are up for sale, so if anybody's looking for some real stinky bucks, <laughs> they are available. <laughs> They're frisky. It's cool out this morning, and this is really their frisky playtime. He's a gentleman. He really is a gentleman. He's still young and full of it, you know? He's only a year old, guys. He's almost as big as his daddy, though. And he is a breeding age. So these are both intact bucks, ready for a new herd. This guy's just bred himself out of a job. Anyway, so we have a few little things we are going to be working on. Today might be an off day because if they arrive, I want to film the process and I really need to give my back a break. And Jim has been working non-stop for weeks, guys. We've barely taken a day off. Even on the holiday, we work the morning. So we've got to take some downtime. We're pushing. We want to get a lot done this summer. Our next project is actually upstairs we're going to start running our electrical upstairs we want an outlet on either side of that sliding glass door so we don't have to run extension cords because we are running extension cords and once the outlets and the electricals run then we can start the insulation which is going to be a big process and i'll walk you all through that as we get there and um look at that zucchini that is one seed guys one seed that's not multiple seeds that one is doing fantastic and I think the reason that one's doing so good is because it's not in a raised bed the soil is raised about oh, maybe six inches but it's not in a raised bed to the point of these other gardens it's able to get its roots down into where all that moisture is we did finally get rain so that is a win for us and the well will complete that win believe me these are the rucker tomatoes as you can see i've got um blossoms on these i need to i'm going to pick up some cheap tomato cages because these kate these tomatoes did not get very large if you follow my video from years ago my tomatoes my cherry tomatoes will get over 10 feet tall these guys didn't this tomato plant's having some issues, as you can see. But we also got lots of tomatoes. If that's all the bigger they get, I won't buy this 
type unless they have a fantastic flavor. These are little successes. Look at this, guys. I've never grown these before. It looks like they're going to be fantastic for us. So they're liking this soil. Nothing on here, but we are getting some flowers. Oh, there's one. Look at that, a little one. And this is a sweet red pepper, but it's shaped... It says sweet Italian pepper, so... That's what that is. I wonder if that makes it a paprika. I don't think so. The bell pepper's not doing so hot. Look at that. Yep, we'll feed that to the chickens. Uh, let's go look at my... Let's go look at my... Um, my herbs are doing good. I've already harvested one side of these, and I'm drying them. we got some flowers. We'll let it flower. I got some... I think it's red Russian kale. Yep, red Russian kale. I got one of those doing fantastic. And I got a curly leaf kale doing really good. I did pick those turnips. All I can say is, what a difference from store-bought turnips. I um, threw them in with a pot of potatoes. They were so strong. We were like, oh, we don't know if we like this. <laughs> I'm still feeding this stuff to the chickens because it's gotten very buggy. Now, this here is my, look how nice that looks. This is a yellow zucchini. Yes, guys, zucchini, not straight neck squash, not um, summer squash. This is a yellow zucchini. This, I planted a bunch of them, as you can see. This one's doing fantastic. I don't know if there's more rabbit manure there or what the thing is, but... You can see some mulch we tried to clean out over there so we can get the well back in a little further. So the mulch is got dumped in here. I got to spread it, but today is not that day. My back is just too sore. One thing I've learned with my back, when it says enough, I have to listen. I did get some lemongrass. That's what you see here. I did get some spiderwort. That's what's in there, which has that beautiful little flower. And blueberries, not doing so good. I have a bunch of little trees that came in. I ordered a dwarf, dwarf mulberry, the longberry mulberry. Uh, what else did I order? Pineapple guavas, pomegranate, and an ice cream banana tree. All those are in. <laughs> guinea boy. Guinea boy. All those are in, and um, I'm just babying them because they, they're so small. And I'm trying to nurse them to the point where we get some decent-sized trees that we can actually put in the ground before winter hits. This is the other zucchini. See how small this one is? I'm thinking growing in these tires might not be such a good idea. But you see what's happening with no rain? These things are just dying. I'm going to pick these two and give them to the chickens. I pick them instead of letting them die on the vine so that they go further. What do I do with that pepper? I have no idea. That's where I'm at mentally. My brain is going a million miles an hour lately. My insomnia has kicked into overdrive and I think it could be between the heat, stress, pain, and the excitement of a well has pushed me to my max as far as insomnia goes. We're just going to throw these into the chickens. The chickens and rabbits are doing fantastic. I'll show you our little chicks. <laughs> Everybody likes garden scraps. i got to pull a dish out of here. There's our new chicks. Look how big they are. From little tinies. I'm really excited for these guys. i got to get their container. We keep two of these containers of feed in here at all times, so that one's empty. I'm going to fill this and bring it out and put it back together. Yeah, i got to practice climbing there. Let's take a look at the... We have a hen trying to go broody. Let me show you her. This is like a two-handed job. Oh, she's out of the A. She's out of the nest. Okay. 
I call her naked neck because she doesn't have any feathers on her neck. And she came from that group I brought up from my friend's house the other year. I, st I grabbed her by the neck this morning and took her eggs. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do sometimes, guys. I get tired of being pecked. To that or she goes in the stew pot and she's not even worth butchering. That's how little she is. All right. Let's go see the goats. Oh, little man. You ready to come out? Now, one of the systems we have put in place, I gotta get this out of here the chicken, in case the goats would knock that over. Chicken feed is toxic to goats, just for everybody's information. Do not let your goats get into chicken feed. <sighs> I gotta go cook breakfast. <sighs> yes, as soon as I come in here, the big girls come running. I don't got anything for you, had breakfast. I'm just letting these guys out. Now, the dog kennel has been very useful. We're able to separate the goats that need the most feed and let them eat as long as they want to eat. All right, look out, Simba. Come on, come on, come on. In they all go. Little ones went out. Come on. Come on, little ones. Well, come here. Come here, buddy. Come on, Triton. Triton, come on. There you go. There he is. Bottle Baby's doing good. He is nursing off a of mom. Periodically, he does get to nurse. <laughs> That's two of the triplets right there. They're getting big. This is Trilly. Hi, Trilly girl. Hi, Trilly. And then there's Trinity back there. And Titan came out too. I'm not sure. Oh, he's over there. Titan, his horns are still growing, guys, after we burned them. So we don't know what we can do now. There we go. <laughs> Look at this. All, already up and climbing. They are eating grain. The triplets, the last set of triplets, which are these guys. They're eating grain, hay, milk, and water. So they're doing really good. And the biggest one is right there. Trinity is the biggest. And here's my, my sweet girl. Now, let's do a real quick look at her. Do you see any differences? Let me get out of the let me get out of the shadow. She's still got some to gain in this area. Right here. She's got to gain a little bit in there. She's a little concave here yet, but her backbone's receding. This has been a slow, slow process. Uh, she's got a little meat on her ribs now, which is one of the reasons we have her in the kennel with ginger ginger can't seem to keep up with milk which is so dis i can't tell you how disappointed i am she should be able to feed these triplets and be milked okay that's what this breed is for she's just not up to it oh the little guy's latched on oh good job trident i love seeing him get on a teat that's so much better for him than what we're doing milk is is your backup but it's definitely not the preferred thing. Look at this. What's she doing? She's trying to get in the chicken coop. Are you going to climb in the chicken coop? Huh? They climb in here. And they actually lay in here. Which is bizarre. We got two of them that do it. Little bit and her. She keeps growing. She's not going to fit. <laughs> Everybody's got hay, water. They had their peanut hay this morning. They had alfalfa grain. Kids are playing on the teeter-totter. We set it up so it can't teeter-totter. So we don't knock any little heads real hard. Because we do have little ones. <laughs> Timba. Let's see. We got Tinkerbell. Thomasina. Timba. Timba. It's Timba. Come on, stop. We got a little bit. He cannot get these little girls pregnant. They're, they're not in heat or anything. He's just testing his bucky skills. Timba. Stella. Look at how little Mocha is yet. Mocha and Breely, I think, are going to stay small. Not this small, obviously. But I don't think they're going to get to be as big as some of our other babies will. And back there's Mr. Puma. 
hope everybody's doing great. I did get an update on Pepper. He is doing fantastic. He is getting a bottle, which he was not here, but because we sold him, he was still nursing and he wasn't fully weaned, they decided to offer him a bottle, so he does take a bottle. But um, I got a picture of him running with his new herd. It was awesome. Look at this. Look at this. These girls are so funny. Timba, you keep doing that. You're going to go in the buck pen with your dad. Oh, goodness. Oops. She's coughing cut, I think. Timba. <laughs> boys will be boys, especially little baby boys starting to feel their oats. So cute. They do this early in the morning and they do this right before the sun sets. If you run with them right now, it's just too hot. I got sweat pouring down my face. If you run with them, they'll run with you. You can get them wound up real easy. <laughs> Jim and I are both really liking Stella's look. So, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Time will tell. See my little guy? He's over at the hay bin. Hey, big mama. Yeah, you're all full. Look at that fat gut on you. She's doing good as a mama. That's Carmela. She gave birth to the tiny twins. She is doing fantastic. I haven't had any major weight loss at all with the birth of these kids and with this intense nursing because we have only one single baby nursing and that's Stella. Everybody else was multiples and the mama's even Oreo. Look how nice and round she is. She's fat, guys. She's fat. Your hair is curling this morning too, Oreo. Look at that. She's got some extra... Wait there. Everybody's doing good. Even Latte. Where is Latte? Oh, that little buck. Where's your mama? Oh, she's in here eating. Latte was the one I was really concerned about weight-wise. So, let's take a look. What, little man? Hmm? She's even looking really good. She's got some width to her here. She's got a little bone, bony in the hips, but that's kind of normal on a dairy goat. And look at Ginger. She looks really amazing. Now, keep in mind, they just ate, so she's a little rounder than she normally would be. But even so, she looks amazing. Don't you pee on me. She's backing up. <laughs> All right, guys, I've rambled long enough. i got to get in and get breakfast because as soon as these this rig comes in, we're going to have to... Watch how they set up. We don't want them damaging anything and we want to make sure we can turn them around. So I'm going to go for now and hope you enjoy the goats in the morning. You can see the sun coming through. All right, take care. God bless.